Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to affix a nameplate onto our pre-punched um, hybrid halters. Yay, hybrid halter. Um, so in order to do that, I've just taken a cheek sample. That's the same as what uh, comes on the halter so that you can see a little bit better. And we'll use that uh, for the example. Um, when you order your nameplate kits, you order your nameplate kits from us at haltername.plates.com, um, and when you order them, they arrive with a few things. Um, they arrive with a set of screws. Um, you also may get there's an optional kit that you can get, which includes thread locker and a screwdriver. Um, but every plate comes with a set of screws that puts on your nameplate. So you'll get in the mail, uh, you'll get your nameplate and your screws. There's a couple different length screws, um, and I'm gonna point that out to you. There's, um, in each pack, two short ones and one long one. Uh, depending upon the size of your halter, you may not need the long one. Um, the halters that go through three layers, like this one does, will need the long screw on this end and the short screw on that end. Um, but for a larger halter, the size large and size draft, you won't need that. Um, you'll use the, the small. So just depends upon what size um, halter you have. If you have a yearling through average, you're going to use the one of each size. And then if you have the large or the draft, you'll use the two short ones. Um, all you do is just place the plate over the top and then pop on the pop on the screws just like that, and then flip it over and put your Chicago screw head in there. What I like to do with this is um, either take some nail polish or if you have gotten the kit from us, it will have thread locker in it. And I'll put that on a post-it note um, and just daub the end of um, the screw into the glue or to the nail polish and then put it in. I don't like to put glue actually into this hole um, because what you'll find is it leaks out over the top once you screw it down. So it's much better to just dip the screw itself in um, that way and that, that works out quite a lot better. Um, I'm going to switch screws here really quick because I use the short screw rather than the long screw. And these have been pre-punched and they're sized to the plate itself. So you just have to push them in um, on that one, you might hear it snap, and then I'll go over here and I'll put the other one in without trying to get in the light, so I damage your ability to see. And the thing is, is on this one, same thing, you should just be able to pop it right on just like that. If for some reason you can't though, a uh, little pro tip for you is if you're having trouble, you can actually flex the flex the cheek of the halter itself and that will get them to pop together a little bit easier so if you're experiencing any problem that's a good idea if for some reason you got a halter and maybe the inside of the hole isn't um, drilled all the way through that's no problem either you can just take a hammer um, and hit the end of the screw cap just like that and that will punch through the the screws themselves are actually sharp enough to do that um, and then all you do is turn the plate over take a screwdriver um, I like one as far as selecting screwdrivers I do like one that has a little fat handle and it's kind of short uh, because you get really good leverage on it the long ones are just a little bit harder to um, get it tight uh, you can either hold this with your finger on the back or if you don't have the hand strength um, and want to make sure you get it extra tight, you can also put a piece of tape um, over the top of this screw head, which will keep the um, screw from rotating and allow you to get it as tight as possible. Um, but then all you do is just tighten them down um, and you're good to go. So that's all that you do to install the nameplates on your new halter uh, when you get it and you'll be off to the races. Thanks a lot. Hope that was helpful. Bye.